Hi, I'm Christian Triola, author of The Missing Method for Guitar Books, and in this video I'm going to give you some tips on how you can be a better guitar player in 2022. So let's go ahead and get started. Now these tips aren't in any kind of order, they're just ideas that I've been thinking about that might be able to help you out. Some of the things you might already do. Let's go ahead and take a look at what they are. The first one on the list is to set yourself up a practice streak. So what I mean by that is see how many days in a row you can practice without breaking your streak. I actually started one way back in 2019 and I'm still doing it. I have practiced in some capacity every single day. Even when I went out of town, we went to a guitar store just so I could play some stuff to keep my streak alive. So it might be a little bit crazy, but see how many days you can go. Now, I'd actually recommend that six days is a pretty strong streak because taking a day off is good for you. It kind of lets you process what you've been practicing. So even though I'm kind of a little bit crazy with my streak, taking a down day, there's nothing wrong with that. But you might want to try a month, see if you can go 30 days without breaking a practicing streak. So that's my first thing. Just set that goal, have fun with it. And you know, your streak doesn't have to be for five hours a day or even three. You could just do 10 minutes, say 10 minutes a day, 30 days, I'm going to do it. Go from there and it should be a lot of fun for you. Second on the list is set up a practice time for yourself. If you haven't done this before, just say, okay, seven o'clock every evening, I'm gonna practice for half an hour, no matter what. And so you got that time in mind, you know when seven o'clock comes, that's your time to practice. And anybody else you live with, you tell them that's your time to practice, they should honor it, you'll be good, you'll be able to get your practicing in. As you practice too, you might want to set a timer. So that way you know that you've hit it, your absolute minimum amount of time to practice. You have a half hour set or 40 minutes, an hour, whatever you want. Now what I find is if you sit down to play for 10 minutes, that's going to turn into an hour pretty quickly. In fact, with all the things that I love learning and I love playing, I could probably easily spend 12 to 15 hours a day practicing. Unfortunately, there isn't time for that. Uh, so I do have to cut it short. I try to get in at least an hour or two every day. That's my routine, of course. Come up with something that works for you. And, you know, 10 minutes a day is better than nothing at all. And you'll find yourself enjoying the guitar a lot more the more consistently you practice. Another tip, you'll hear me say this all the time. You'll hear every guitar teacher say this. And that is practice with the metronome. That doesn't mean turning the metronome on click it, and then try to play along with it, you want to use it as a practicing tool, meaning that you'll use it for smaller sections and use it to build up your speed on those sections and to kind of test yourself to see how fast you can go and still stay with the metronome. So it's a great tool. There's a lot of other things you can do with it as well, but that's just uh, one of the things I wanted to mention in this video. Another thing I'd recommend is to write some of your own music, your own melodies, your own riffs, licks, etc. So as you learn something, take it and transform it into something that you will want to play. Uh, so that means if you're learning a song, take an idea from that song and change it. Make it your own thing. Or take a concept or a technique from that song and play around with it. And then write it down. And so a great place to write that down, of course, is we have a book on our website called The Guitar Sheets Collection. And it's a great big book that has blank paper, with tabs on it, you know, blank tabs, sheet music, chord charts, scale charts, and combinations of those. So no matter what you're wanting to write down, you can use that book to do it. But let's go ahead and move on to the next tip. Also, be clear about the skills that you want to improve on. Sometimes I find myself, you know, excited to practice. I sit down, I kind of go through some of the motions that I usually do. Maybe I'll look at some scales, some licks, or whatever, but then, a couple hours pass and I really haven't gotten to anything I really wanted to get to. And it always makes you feel a little frustrated, like you're not playing as well as you'd like. And so what you can do to overcome that is to have a plan in place. Know exactly what it is you want to practice that day and know why. You know, what is that ultimate goal that you want to get to? It might sound pretty straightforward. You may have heard that kind of advice before, but I find it's good to think about and it's good to uh, hear again because it kind of helps you refocus again and again. I mean, I've heard it several times 
And every time I hear it, I'm like, oh yeah, right, I gotta focus. And so it does help you get there. And so I hope that tip helped you out. Let's go on to the next one. All right, the next tip I have is, if you haven't done so before, is to get guitar lessons. And when you get guitar lessons, know why you want to get guitar lessons. What skill do you want to get better at? Do you want to find a teacher who helps you get better at your rhythm playing, your lead playing, playing jazz, playing classical, just playing some punk rock tunes, blues, or maybe you just want to learn how to sight read better. And there are teachers out there that can do that. Um, I know a lot of those things I mentioned because that's what you know. I like to teach. I like to teach all that stuff. Find a teacher that could help you get to the goals that you want to get to if possible. And if you can't find a teacher, there are plenty of people on YouTube doing exactly what I'm doing now. And just look up those techniques and those skills and you might be able to find exactly what you're looking for. All right, so that's all I've got for today. So hopefully these tips will help you become a better guitar player in 2022. So get started on that practicing streak and let me know how it goes. You know, come back to this video, leave a comment, and I'd love to hear from you. Maybe you have some ideas of what you want to do in 2022 to make your guitar playing better. So be sure to check out our website, themissingmethod.com. On there, you'll find the, the guitar practice sheets that I mentioned, books of those. We have tabs, sheet music, all kinds of stuff that uh, you can use to write stuff down in. There's books on note reading, playing chords, and a whole lot more. Also, make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I always appreciate it when people do that. All right, so get to practicing, and I will see you in the next video.